Hey Hackintosh gang, today, I will demonstrate the 15 minutes install on a live demo. I will be using this NEC VersaPro VGS which has a broken screen. I will use an HDMI connected on my monitor. I will use this Logitech wireless mouse and keyboard. I gathered all the necessary files into this 128GB USB flash drive using the new 15 minutes. Install guide, link on the description box. I will plug them all together on this laptop and getting all things ready. Turning on the laptop and let's go to the BIOS settings of this unit by pressing the F2. From the BIOS settings window, basically, I set the BIOS settings to default and set the secure boot to disabled. Then make the USB flash drive as the first priority on the boot sequence. My BIOS window may different from yours. Exit and save the settings on the BIOS. We will now boot into the USB flash drive with Ventoe. I will scroll all the way down for the Windows 10 Portable Edition. I have too many files stored on this USB flash drive. This video will have no cuts, just the raw procedure on how to install the new 15 minutes install guide. Once fully loaded, let's open up Disk Genius. Your SSD should be GPT partition table as pointed by this orange arrow, if it's MBR. You will need to convert it into GPT, just right click the disk, then convert. Now let's delete all the partition on this disk. This will wipe the data on it. Make sure that you already made the backup of your files. Let's create an ESP or EFI partition by right-clicking above. Click Save All to apply the changes. Now on the created ESP partition, double-click it and let's put the EFI configuration that I had saved on the USB flash drive. Drag the EFI folder into that disk genius window. Make sure that the folder structure of your EFI folder is like this. Rename that folder into EFI then close disk genius.
Now let's install R drive image from the USB flash drive. Launch the R Drive image program and let's restore the latest Sonoma 14.4. Drag the source image into the unallocated space, which was the disk that we created a while ago. Click Start, and this will initiate to restore the Mac OS Sonoma into the disk you had chosen. The time of restoration will vary on which disk that you have. If you have a hard disk, it will be longer, while with NVMe or SSD, it will be blazing fast. And if you're still here and haven't subscribed to my channel, feel free to do so. For the meantime, enjoy the music. We are all done, close everything, and let's reboot. Remove the USB flash drive upon rebooting. Now if you encountered error, find another EFI for your machine and try again. If you found a proper EFI and correct BIOS settings, it should boot into the shiny Hackintosh. Well, that's about it for this video. The succeeding footage will be just the out-of-the-box experience of Mac OS Sonoma. This installation from start to the desktop took approximately around 13 minutes. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.